The year was 1976. Two guys decided to start a company. Not just a company, but a company that will compete with one of the biggest companies of those days, IBM. Steve Jobs was 21 while Steve Wozniak was 26 and they decided to compete with a company that's 40 and 45 years older than both of them. Not only was IBM older than the two young guys, but IBM was also one of the biggest companies in the world. Several years later, Steve Jobs confessed that they were too young in 1976 to know how big IBM was. They probably would never have tried what they did. In the year 2008, when I decided to drop school for entrepreneurship, I was only 21. I was curious and crazy about the idea of building my own company from scratch and it took me 8 years of failure before I had my first breakthrough. Today, when I look back at when I was 21, I do not doubt that if I had given a second chance to be 21 again, I would probably not take that kind of decision I took then. I would probably not take the kind of decision I took then. What's the point of these stories? Very simple. Sometimes in life, you have to be stupid to become successful. Sometimes you have to go out without having all the facts. Sometimes you have to believe that the dots will somehow connect themselves. The woe of brilliant people. The number one problem of brilliant people, I think, is the fact that they can easily see dangers in their plans and that's why many smart people are poor in our world today. When I decided to be an entrepreneur, I didn't know all the details of the woes I would go through and how difficult they would be. I didn't know I would get to a point in my life when I would become almost a slave. I didn't know that I would be rejected by the people I loved most and I didn't know that I would later have to go and get a job because I was too broke to remain alive. I didn't know all these facts simply because I was too dumb to sit down and count my cost and because I wasn't able to count my cost, I was able to face my struggles one day at a time. The problem with many people is that they are smart enough to count their cost and because they are smart enough to count their cost, they could easily see how painful it will be to follow their dreams. You are stronger than you think. How fast do you think you can run? How hard do you think you can work? How many pains do you think you can bear? The truth is that you have no idea. None of us knows how much pain we can bear until we find ourselves in some excruciating pain. None of us know how many difficulties we can go through until we find ourselves in some tough situations. We don't know how much strength we have until there comes a test for our strengths to be measured. So, what is my point here? If you sit down and imagine what failures mean, your brain will exaggerate the pains and you won't take any actions. That's what happens to most people. They sit down and imagine what it means to make mistakes, what it means to lose business and what it means to fail. Because these people sit down to imagine what it means to go through difficult times, their brains simply help them exaggerate the pains. Because of this, they would decide not to take action because they think they could not go through the pains. You're stronger than you think you are. You can endure failures and pains on your way to success. You can make mistakes, fail and still move on. You have to believe this and the best way to do that is by not spending too much time analyzing your plans. Smart people spend too much time analyzing situations. Stupid people jump out and start acting. Some people are simply too smart to take action. Some people like this need daily motivation and that's why we're starting a new channel. We call it Hunt TV and what we do there is to share with you inspirational videos that will keep you inspired as you run after your dreams. Look at the description box to join the Hunt TV. Believe that the dots will connect themselves. Steve Jobs said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect the dots looking backwards. Starting in life, you have to believe that the dot will somehow connect itself. This has to do with faith, faith in yourself and your future. When I started as an entrepreneur, I had less than $50 to my name. Everybody told me that without money, I could not succeed as an entrepreneur. I was reminded of the fact that my parents are poor and stuff like that. One thing I had and that was, I believed that if I could face my failures one day at a time, one day I would get to the limelight. You must have similar faith and that's why I think you must be stupid because you have to be stupid to believe that the dot will connect itself. The woe of maps. I traveled some long distances during this last weekend and when you go on such trips, Google Maps is usually a good help for you. You want to navigate from point A to Z and you need to know how long that may take you and if there are some shorter routes. Google Maps is very helpful for the physical journey of life but some of the maps are not so helpful. One of them 
is societal maps. Almost every society has some kind of maps already set for everyone. One of those maps is go to school, be a good student, get a job and climb the ladder to the top. This map seems reasonable because it doesn't involve any risks. As long as you follow other commandments along the line, you should be fine. The problem with any such plan and map is it only leads you to become an average person. Real success belongs to people who dare the unknown, try new things and create a new path. For you to dare new things, you have to be stupid. When Henry Ford wanted to democratize automobiles, he was told that horses were fine. When Jeff Bezos started Amazon, the internet was nothing. When you dare to create a path for yourself, you cannot have a map and that's where faith comes in. You have to believe in yourself enough to follow your gut. You have to believe in yourself enough to face rejections from the people who think you're stupid. You have to be stupid enough to believe that you can do a new thing, change the world and create a new path. Many smart people are poor because they are capable of analyzing their plans and see how difficult and risky it is to achieve their goals. Johann Wolfgang Goethe said and I quote, whatever you can do or dream of, you can begin it. Boldness has genius, power and magic in it. If you like this video, you might like The Hunt TV which is our new channel designed to share with you the inspirations you need to pursue your dreams. Look at the description box to join The Hunt TV. We love you.